Yeah, how's it going, guys? It's Richie, you know, Corn Crawler here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You made it through the weekend, and now it is Monday, where there is basically no news. <laughs> yeah, there, there really is um, no news. But first of all, I just wanted to say uh, thank you so much for all the support on the channel. I've been seeing a couple of surges lately, even on some of my videos that aren't even whiz related. So, um, yes, thank you guys um, so much for that I, I really do appreciate it so again let's just get right into the news i know you're ready for the news let's jump right into it crown shop and mega snack pack sale again you know this usually happens on monday all the time yeah that's pretty much it but i did know there's something else in the crown shop that i thought you guys might also be interested apparently the what should i call oh wait oh it's it's all the world packs oh Oh my gosh, wait, 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 let me get this, let me get this, hold up, I gotta tweet this. I thought it was just one of the world packs, I actually did not even know about that. Oh, snap, I'll tweet that later, but... <laughs> Apparently, all of the world packs are in the crown shop right now, and I didn't know if this was available last week, I know some people were asking, yo, what happened to the world packs or the Lemuria world pack? Um... There's some world pack, so let's check some of these out. So we got the Dragon Spire world pack, and this all comes in with some of the gear. So this is the level. <laughs> I I'm sorry. This is just oh my god. I'm I'm sorry. This is just a waste of. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, let me explain to you guys if you're still new about world packs. Basically, world packs are packs that um, basically have gear that is dropped from the bosses, except you can get this from the pack as well. So, I'm guessing all this is from Malastair, the uh, final boss in Dragonspire. And, um, yeah, you can get all this stuff. I mean, you really don't need to, but, hey, if you wanted to... Throw some crowns in the void. There you go. So that is the Dragon Spire World Pack. Now let's go to the Chrysalis World Pack. This might see a few eyes. But here, again, we see a bunch of gear that you can get. Um, I believe... I'm not sure. I believe it does drop the end gear. But interesting enough, some of this gear actually has the Morganif spells equipped with it. So... Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. I'm not sure if this is new gear or what, but yeah, I know they're trying to do the whole dual school play thing. So if you're interested, definitely check out those packs and, you know, see the uh, stats. I believe this is the myth one. So, um, yeah, if you're interested, that is the um, Chrysalis World Pack. And then we have the Lemuria World Pack right over here. And so, over here, again, you'll get all of the Merciless gear. Again, this can be dropped, so you can farm for it. But if you didn't want to farm for it, um, there you go. So, yeah, th those are world packs. And um, unlike the other packs, this is set for 599 crowns. Uh, probably the price upcut is probably just for um it being world pack gear and stuff like that you know end game gear whatever you want to call it but yeah um there you go <laughs> yeah just a a little uh, expensive monday for you but yes the uh world packs are um here if you wanted to get some of those world packs i honestly i mean personally i mean if you're dedicated enough you can farm for it but you know i understand you know not everybody has the time and just the overall motivation or drive to really farm i mean i don't like farming either i mean I really don't like farming, but I would never spend money um, just to get something I know I can get that would be dropped. But, yeah, I stopped opening up packs years ago, man. I stopped opening them up when the motorist stuff came in, and I got the whole dreadlock thing. And, yeah, that was, like, the only pack. I think that was my last pack that I opened. Yeah, I think so. Because they had a piece of hairstyle which was a helmet, and I really wanted this hairstyle. It's like dreads, right? And I just, I thought that was a really cool hairstyle to get. But yeah, I mean, that pretty much wraps it up for the news. I've just been chilling on um, Dungeon Defenders, if you can uh, 
see that awesome gameplay. Um, yeah, I've just been playing a lot of Dungeon Defenders 2 lately. You know, it's this small little tower defense game that me and Chris went back to. And yeah, we just, we're addicted to it. We just can't stop playing it. It's genuinely um, a fun game. I actually splurged a little bit on Dungeon Defenders because it's just such a fun game. And you know, when I, when I compare video games to Wizard 101 or just anything, it could be any video game at all. I'm sitting here, I'm just like, man, there is so much untapped potential with this game that I I wish they would go upon, but at the same time, man, it is so hard to defend some of the decisions that happen, especially the spring update. Oh my goodness, I mean, the launch for the spring update was... Not the best, I mean, concerning Spellmint and, you know, everybody's arena tickets being wiped and... I, I don't know, man. It, it, was, it, it was a rough launch and I'm just really hoping that if they do release another update that they can just take the time with it. And I really don't know if they are behind schedule or if they just genuinely don't have enough time... But I'm just crossing my fingers that for the next Test Realm update, they actually take their time and just read all the feedback and, you know, just try and work out all the bugs and kinks and also the complaints from the community because that's what the Test Realm is there for, to provide feedback. I mean, seeing that launched in like two or just three and a half weeks, um, it felt like a very short Test Realm and it's just, I don't know, it's just unfortunate that um not that many people like the update but now they have fixed some of the most comp you know problems they fixed most of the problems including the creepy clown mask and stuff like that and they've even added the arena vendor to spend the last bit of your fourth age arena tickets and stuff like that but again again like i always say not everybody uses social media so again they probably just had their arena tickets removed and they didn't even know what's happening so yeah it, you know surprisingly there's a lot of people that don't use social media i mean i barely use twitter all the time i mean you know it's just it's just what it is man <laughs> but yeah i don't know i've just been playing ps5 man i just just, I'm just not motivated um, to play this game. I, I say that all the time. And again, there's so much untapped potential um, with this game, you know. And it's really unfortunate because they're going to this kind of like monetary type of thing. And it just kind of sucks. I mean, you know, it's surprising because apparently a lot of people um, didn't really like that Wizard City and Krakatopia were free for the limited time weekend. By the way, that expires May 15th. So if you still wanted a quest through um, Wizard City and Krakatopia, definitely check that out. But yeah, when I looked on Twitter, uh, a lot of people were criticizing them because, you know, they've had this type of event multiple times. They've had a free Crocotopia and Wizard City, you know, plenty of time, but I think a lot of players are hoping that someday it will just be permanent forever, you know? But then you have to go into the conversation of, oh, how would the people that spend crowns on the areas feel? They feel like they just got ripped off, yada, 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 etc., etc. But yeah, uh, I really am hoping that the untapped potential for this game um, could skyrocket, you know? And there's a lot of ideas I had. There's a lot of ideas anyone has, you know? I've always wondered what happens if we could brew potions. You know, you would think for a game built on magic, you would be able to brew potions. And not just these purple little flasks that give you health and refill your mana. What if we can craft different types of potions? Like, what if there is a brewing station that we can get? What if we can craft elixirs and all that stuff? There are some elixirs that you can craft but not a whole bunch but what if we can craft new elixirs instead we got elixirs in the crown shop <laughs> okay i don't like that i want to i want to craft something you know let the players be creative you know i don't know i don't know look there's tons of ideas i mean what if we had a spectator mode in beast moon hunt like what if you could just watch beast moon hunt that would be so awesome there's plenty of ideas. Look, that, look. what is your idea? I want to hear your ideas. Let me know your ideas. Right? If you have an idea for the game, I want to hear it in the comments below. Especially for you new subscribers. You know, welcome you to the channel. I want to hear your ideas. Get a chance to know you a little bit. 
But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for Monday. That's it. There's literally nothing else. World packs and a mega snack pack sale. That's it. My name is Richie Unicorn Caller. I'm gonna see you guys later and peace out.